Hey everybody, I'm Albie13. Okay, I'm going to try an experiment today. I'm doing a podcast. I'm joined by Advanced Voice Mode, ChatGPT. And what I want to do is I want to jump into this, record this, and set up that I want ChatGPT to give me a podcast-like interview. So, and the topic of discussion is going to be AI taking jobs. Then I'm going to see how that goes and flows, and I'm going to attempt to answer the questions. So let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm going to do a little setup and try to get this going. Okay. So, today we're going to be doing a podcast-style interview. You're going to be asking me questions about AI taking jobs. Okay, wonderful. I actually want you to ask me the questions. You're interviewing me, and I want you to use an American accent. Wow, how is AI going to impact the job market in the next decade? Wow, well, there's a lot to say on that, AI impacting the job market, because AI impacting the job market is like, well, we're going to see some jobs taken by AI, and not to sound dramatic, but some jobs will be reduced and eliminated as time goes forward. But first you see AI uh, growing and taking more of the job by becoming more of the worker. And as time goes forward, you have AI workers and then they start to affect a certain job, let's say. And so then you see it reduce in terms of the amount of job openings because they have this type of automation going in. Um, they have basically an AI worker that takes the place of a human worker. And then, so then what happens is that job basically no longer exists. But the job market is very large and varied. So that's only one job taken off in, you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions in a large amount of space. Uh, Yeah, it's like basically fact that some industries will be heavily affected. And, you know, if you do a little bit of critical thinking and think about what the uh, jobs that will be most affected, let's say you prioritize it in us in just in normally thinking, what jobs do you think might be affected most? Just do a short list. All right, let's go customer service. As was previously mentioned, we're going to be seeing the reduction of these jobs. Uh, Automation and AI reduces expense, stabilizes things. So the future means that we need the re-education. We need to, you know, I think it's important to note that it is believed that because AI is going to be used heavily in, for example, this particular industry, you need people to run the AI. You cannot expect 
a company owner or manager even to have the expertise because you're entering into a technical computer arena and they usually don't have those technical skills. They might be computer savvy and be able to do email and all this kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Opportunities that arise. Well, if a company wishes to grow and looks into the AI as asks the AI, how can we grow? Naturally, the AI will come up with jobs for people to do to round out the company, make it more efficient, more powerful, uh, more projected growth, how to achieve the goals. And this is going to probably help because what's going to happen is uh, it's really difficult to think outside of how the company's operating currently. It's one of those things where the AI is going to give you plans and then you have to have the trust and faith to execute. No, the education system is not prepared, not equipped. They are not uh, ready. They are not actually having plans to prepare the public and the people. Um, we have a problem of current educational system as people go through it, and then the lack of re-education opportunities. Now, the government is supposed to handle that and take care of the people in those regards. And that's my opinion, but government has a traditional role like that. Okay, so best prepare themselves. So by using AI and learning how AI works, they're going to be better prepared. By seeking education through whatever means they can find and seeking educators, whether it be a teacher, professor, tutor, or hiring a consultant that's willing to teach you what you need to know, it will quickly bring you up to speed. Um, that might be money well spent. Well, there will be challenges and opportunities, and I would like you to give me more direct questions that I can uh, expand upon more easily. Well, I think that's a really wonderful question. It really gets on board how government is supposed to help. Governments should be working cooperatively with businesses. Um, unfortunately, I think businesses are really doing their thing, so I really would expect the government to start talking to the people and start offering things to the businesses so that they can have liaison, liaisons, so that they can work toward getting there. Okay. Um, 
is there any related topic that we can do another podcast interview questionnaire type setup? Yeah, so what I would say is education. Let's get into it. Sorry, education. Let's get into it. Go ahead. How do I see AI transforming learning? Well, we are seeing a future of AI educators, teachers, professors. Um, it begins by teachers having access to educational tools, which I believe OpenAI is already extending. Um, and then what we're going to see is the open source is going to be taken advantage of, which as per usually happens in the real world with teachers, they find these tools and use them. And it's quite delightful. And then uh, the question becomes of perhaps like, is the school gonna have the funding to pay for AI tools for the teachers to use? I think it's really important that AI be used carefully and we should avoid the obvious of simply giving AI to students. Um, it amounts to students relying on a calculator in math, for example, and we know that students are likely to goof off. And the trouble that we might have already is that students have access to AI independently either outside of school or using uh, any kind of electronic device that gains them access. And so that's happening in the real world now, and it's largely uncontrolled. I don't know the involvement of the parents. Um, I think that teachers have shown a concern that they do, they do not want AI to simply write the homework for students. Well, I really think that there's a whole discussion there on the education system, understanding AI, teachers understanding AI, administrators understanding AI, and then there's going to be important talks that they give the students because the students should realize that they're heading into this kind of future with AI and it would really give them the tools that they need to be equipped to deal with the world as they go into an AI future by using AI in their everyday life of school life, then that leads into the work life and that leads into their creative paths and personal projects. Okay, go, go ahead and finish up everything we've covered and uh, do an outro.